Well, the public statements from people like Carlos Ghosn have been 2020. I think that for the motorways and similar limited access highways, that kind of date is reasonably doable. We've got most of the technology already working in cars and we'll step forward piece by piece. Probably the biggest challenge is actually building out the interface with the driver in the way that we make sure the driver continues to pay attention so that if there's an issue, um, the car can turn control back to the driver but still allow the driver to do other productive things while the car is in the automated mode. Vehicle IT can have a major impact in the CO2 emission reduction effort, particularly by collecting the actual CO2 emissions from the cars as they're really driven instead of as they're done in the lab. Well, the network car has been slowly but surely been built up over the last 15 years. We are now um, moving forward with 4G interconnection with the ability to provide information to the drivers, the ability to give them warnings for safety systems. All of these things together will be a major reduction in vehicle accidents and driving pleasure.